Do you know this person? If you've been following my Instagram for the last two weeks at least, then I'm sure you came across her. I've been um, following her every day. Literally I, every I, day. I'm obsessed with your stories. Like it's like all I watch. Oh and her feed. Oh my god. Huda's Instagram feed is literal gold. Like, no. It it is, like everything. So today that I put my make <laughs> that we haven't even no, 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 wait, 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 hold hold back the tears. We're not tear proof, okay? okay. Um anyway, so today me and Huda filmed a little makeup for you guys. Using all card products, especially the holiday collection, all over our faces and we use the face tape foundation, which is like the new foundation. Oh my god, it's amazing. And we also use the shape tape uh, concealer. She taught me so much, so many tips on like highlighting, contouring, like look how snatched this face is. I'm exciting them a little bit. So <laughs> <laughs> This is the longest intro ever. Just watch the video. Watch the video. That's Go ahead, watch the video. video. Hey guys, we're filming ASMR. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So we went to Tarte's holiday party. Yes, and we got so many goodies. We stole so many goodies. I mean, technically, they gave us a tote and we're like, just take whatever you want. So we did. Um, so now we're just gonna like dig in and start the tutorial. Huda knows a lot about makeup, by the way, so she's teaching me as we go. Um, you know, like, I, I'm on board. I come to my, <laughs> my team with the makeup. Yeah. I'm just saying, but she knows a lot about videos on YouTube and shooting, yeah. and she's gonna like be all over the video. I'm just gonna be the shy girl right next door, so excuse me. Don't worry. No, you got it. Just it's honestly like, be yourself. She's awesome. Like, she's really, really awesome person. So, so the event was to launch the face tape foundations, and I got two, so I got deep tan, no, tan deep sand, and then I also got deep sand just because like I tan throughout like the year, so I never know my perfect shade and I always mix it. And then I got. I got the tan deep sand as well. So it fits a lot with my like my natural skin tone. It doesn't like usually people could like go for a darker color if they want to get tan or a lighter color if they want just to go with heavy contour. But I just love to get this to use it for an everyday look. It's nice. And then we also got the concealers. You guys know about the shape tape, which inspired the foundation. I use deep to basically um, conceal any spots, and then I use tan deep honey to um, highlight. I got the medium and the medium tan sand. Both are using for highlight. However, I usually mix both when I use these concealers. However, if I'm gonna go for like a neutral look, I would usually go for the darker one, with, which is the medium tan sand. We're gonna prime with base tape primer. By the way, we're using the viewfinder to apply this, but it, the camera is like very far away. I'm sorry if the audio is not that great. I tried to buy a microphone and it wouldn't, um, it was incompatible. So I have to go get another one. Oh, you can go with the other way around, say donate so we can get a microphone. Oh, yes. What was like the GoFundMe go link me. below? We put it down there. So like, support us. Support us. <laughs> <laughs> I usually do mix it between like a foundation brush and a beauty blender. Okay, for me, I, I think it depends on how you want the outcome of the look to, to be. For example, that using the brush means usually that you want the full coverage for your look with the foundation. And having to use the, uh, the beauty blender for after the applying the foundation means that you want to get the excess of the product over your face. So it gets less coverage right uh, through it, which is something I like, by the way. It gives you more like natural look. So it's basically we take the brush as well, the one like you. I mine is like bigger because I'd love to like put little and at one time. Okay. Mine will be yours. Will means that you will put several. I'll use time. more. Yeah. More of the product so bigger. the bigger it is, which means the less product you need to use. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I I like to use the small one just because like my face is tiny and it like helps me. It's so cute. <laughs> Get like all over my face. Um. So I'm gonna mix both. Shades. Put mine on the brush and then your side. So I'd like to put the foundation from in to out so it gives you the blending effect. There, most of the time, we will be looking like down, so we have the mirrors here because it's not that visible with the camera to go. Alright. Also, I've been breaking out a lot, you guys. 
Però è il cuore. So, a very recent trick that I learned about foundation when you put it with a brush is that you do. Like I can see a lot of makeup artists just usually do this, you know, that kind of movement as if you're painting, which is something I don't get because our texture is not smooth, like your skin is not all silky. So it's about pressing the product right there into your skin to settle more than just brushing it. And so also, like, if I have this foundation, I literally do this? Yes. Like stippling? It's stippling, exactly. Okay. I think I used a lot. <laughs> Because you had the small brush, yeah. yeah. No, I always do this. Like, anytime I use a new foundation, I end up using too much, too much of it. Because I don't know this makeup stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I have three products that I know how to use. And then anytime. Which is so cute, you know? That, that's what I really love about when someone that is, you know, that is not a makeup artist or a, or like, a, or have this quiet experience in the makeup and they said they do their makeup on camera which means that it's more credible by the way guys oh. everything comes out super naturally and everything that's said should be like trust trust it oh yeah. yeah good to have credibility <laughs> listen to me guys so right now for me i only used one pump wow you guys imagine just one pump i put and then that is how i got this whole covering all over my face so i think it's only a matter of of course the foundation is helping as well because it's i love the texture it's amazing i want to get close so you guys can see i noticed that it's um like it's it's a very full coverage foundation but i noticed that it feels heavy it feels it on your skin yeah yeah i mean what, what what's your skin type i have like oily combination skin yeah i think you're think, the same time yeah i think that's why yeah but I use, I, that's why, because I have an oily combination skin, yeah. I use uh, less products than what I'm supposed to do. Because the more products I use with my oily skin, it, the more it's just like, it's cakey, you know? Oh, that's smart. For me, because like, I notice that it slides off <laughs> if I don't have enough makeup. Like the more, I feel like for me, the more makeup I put, mm. the more it stays. Wow! See guys, that's how I see that makeup difference really. Makeup is all about a personal like yeah. experience with it. You just need to experiment with makeup in order for you to get... I mean, yes, you watch videos, you see reviews, but then... Sorry, I'll, I'll take that off. And then is it right to put, like, to use the beauty blender after? Y yes, but make sure it's a... Uh, make sure, like, very light. You, you don't press okay. it, just very light. Don't take the product, you know? Okay. Especially if you want full coverage, just very light. Go with the corners, with the places that you know you haven't been able to brush to blend it very well. Okay. And always, guys, please, please don't forget the neck. Please. Don't oh my God, tell them. But should we? Okay. I have a problem. Hey. These lash lines. What do you do with them? Well, the lash lines that you need to immediately bake right away. Anything that you know that it wrinkles right away, you just set it with the powder. Don't just leave it and start putting concealer and everything oh. else and just like go back and then you find the find the back. You laugh, you smile and you do a lot of stuff. I mean most oh sorry most professional makeup artists that I work with they always they want me to be have this poker face while putting setting my makeup on. Like we don't have this like kind of social conversation where like oh I had ice cream for tonight it's like shut up I won't put makeup on your face. That's it. So Ouch. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So it basically, like the point of doing a tutorial and speaking the same way, it's not the best thing ever. So, but right now, for that, that's what I'm saying. Just put just the powder. Set yeah, set it. So that yeah. is the type of beauty blenders I love to set a powder with. And then you press on the line that we want. Okay, that would look crazy, but it works like magic. Try, try. try. I mean, you just leave it out as you do your makeup. Yes, as you do your makeup, mm -hmm. and then work with everything else. Okay, I like that. So, to conceal, I use my beauty blender. Oh, uh, well, I'd love to say that you start with the brush itself uh -huh. to up for application. Okay. Okay, it depends on how the, as well, guys. It depends on the coverage that you want. So, mostly, let's say I'll. I have just yes exactly good. it's good yeah i am doing one thing right <laughs> she's doing everything right she's smart. <laughs> well, she's smart. so uh we have the medium one i'll, I'll use one right there let's we'll, see let's see okay, okay so this is the one that matches your skin one, yes that's the one that matches my skin okay, okay. This one. The, medium, that's that. sorry. okay. 
person. Now the medium tan sand. You can, when you open it, you can so, Don't put it right after your, right under your eyes. That is the biggest mistake. Not right after, just there. You know. Okay. I'm just concealing a little bit. And then, I love to conceal here as well, you know, the corners of my nose. Are you gonna layer, like you're gonna put two concealers? Like? Uh, I don't think, no, I don't, I don't think. You're just going with the bright Yeah, yeah I'll go with that one, okay. right away. Okay, I have to conceal a little bit because I've been breaking out. And the inner corners of my mouth, right there. You know guys, I notice when I, when I face tune, like my face, because we all face tune, yeah. but I do face tune my face. I honestly, I usually used to smooth these parts a lot and it gives me this like fancy look of the, for the photo. So I decided why not I just do this with makeup instead of just smoothing it. So apparently if you put concealer over here in a corner and right there, it gives you the same effect as well. Try it. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So one because like it's darker here. Exactly. All the places. I'm using this trick. <laughs> all the places that you think that it is dark, mm -hmm. just highlight it. So for me, for because I have this like the within the jaw lines. You see that square right there? There is a square over here. Yeah. Okay. So you just do that. Just here. Okay. And one right there as well. Okay. Are you guys looking at this? Wow. Okay, so I haven't even blended anything yet, but you can see from the camera that they're popping out. Yeah. You can see. Okay, yeah, try it. <laughs> Go. Girl, do do what you gotta do. She has more an oval shape. So what we do right now is we wanna pop the jawline. So we don't do the square like me. We do it all the way with the like the jawline over the jawline and then you add it that one. Yeah. So that's the the cheek and right from the corner here. Because we already have wrinkles under our eyes. If you put a lot of products there, they don't set it the way we want, even when we bake. So we start with the over here like that this triangle and always was the color of the triangle. Now, we start with a brush, and then we use the beauty blender to do the excess product. So you start with the brush, like... You just like stipple it. Uh, yeah. <coughs> okay. If you want to get that cat eye look, go right with the corner up there. As if you're like giving yourself an angle. As if you're, you're having the tape already and you're walking your thirst through it. Done. Then I just... I almost forgot that we were shooting and I'm just like right <laughs> She's now. like whispering to me and I'm like loud <sighs> So use the brush Just the brush, very light with the product Now back here, stipple Like that You need to get closer And then here as well, start with the corner Go up to the lips Right there, okay So much easier to blend with the brush So much easier I love when I do, like I go for a shoot and see that the makeup artist is using a brush more than the beauty blender because it's it just gives everything the right uh, texture, you know. Don't go all the way here. No, don't do that. So just out there. So you're just like buffing it. Yeah. The more it's like buffy, the more it's like gives you this. You can see that it's still sharp by the edges, which is, this is when the beauty blender comes in, but for setting the product itself, use a brush. And then you can use the beauty blender itself, so you can just go for the edges and make sure there's nothing like harsh. But definitely with this concealer, you have to work quickly. Quickly, it dries so fast, so you have to uh, move around. Or you can start with like with the eyes, you, you tap uh, the concealer and then you move to the cheeks and then yeah. move around. Like slowly. Yeah. It gives me, can you see the line that has been up there? Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Like when you go from here, you just move. Ah, okay. That way. 
angle it. Angle. Right. So baked. And then we're gonna bake here. Hydrate. Hydrate. One time for the people who didn't hear you. That's it. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. So. So now that we're never, baked, yeah, yeah, never, never, ever, uh, like, get afraid of just having a lot of powder all over it. It's setting loose powder because it actually sets the product all over your face. Quite right. Learn that from Patrick Stark. Okay. Drink your water. This is the best beauty tip. Mm -hmm. So because we didn't get eyebrow products and we didn't get contouring products, we're just gonna do that off camera. And then we're gonna come back. I wish I can eat right now, but I have a liner. They're so delicious. You eat that, I'm gonna drink my water. So basically, we have done up our eyebrows right now. Yeah. I've just done the contouring. And we're moving to the eyeshadow, which is the most important. <gasps> Guys, look at this. Okay, yeah. yeah. Together, we, no, 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 we, we go both. Like, okay, together? Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay. 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 Do you wanna open it together? So we have an eyeliner, we have a mascara, and we have a brush. So you can travel with this, like in a huge mirror. It's in everything. Look at the color, look at this one. Oh, that one? It's the key. little unicorn. What is it? So pretty. Can you guys check out? Yeah, they can, oh, yes. It's a pigment, by the way. I don't think it's an eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys can see that. So right now, we, both of us, we already had like eye primer or like used concealer to set up the base yeah. for the for the eyeshadow. So she used the primer and then I used the concealer. Yeah, the same concealer that I used to brighten up. What we we intentionally uh, did different things so you guys can see that both can get you like really good results. Yeah. Both. <clears throat> and also, if you want to save up on a primer, you can just use your concealer. This is so true. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Sorry if there's like light reflecting off of us, but the sunlight is coming through and it's on the table and then everything on the table is like reflecting on us, so allow it. Anyways, so we, okay, so we got brushes from the, from Tarte and then I'm asking about this fluffy brush. Okay, this fluffy brush, you can easily use it for a lot of stuff, but we're setting for the eyeshadow right now. It will, usually will use it by the end of the, like the full look to blend the whole thing together. Ah. So this one we'll use it for, and you have this little like tapered, so right? Tapered brush. Yeah, yeah, tapered brush. So. And then I think is that for like under eye? You can use it for the under eye. You can use it with the pigmented like um, mm -hmm. eyeshadow to make sure that you press it, but make sure that you spray like fit spray as well on it, so you can make get the best result. Setting spray. Yeah. So we've got the double duty stay spray. Let's try with. Make sure your brush is clean. You don't want to go for like a red tone from previous night all over your eyelid. Especially if you want to wear green. <laughs> totally. Then you're gonna look crazy. Unless you want to look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you do have red on it. <laughs> I thought you were just using it as an example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so I'm feeling, are you feeling like the pinks? Because I feel like that's your go-to colors. Yeah, do I just wear so I usually go with like red pinks and all these tones, but right now I wanted to try to maybe go with the blue. Halloween passed us, guys. Yes. We're still celebrating. Oh my god. Look at this. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> Listen. So right now we can go for metal work. Metal work, which is like this brownish, yeah. taupey color. And that. Put it in the crease? All over it. Ooh. All over it. Which one is that? The chocolatey brown one? Yeah. And then that's the crease? That's the crease. Yay, I got one thing right. <laughs> <laughs> so put that, put that in your crease. Ooh. Ooh, this color is yummy. <laughs> Are the kids still saying that? Love that for us. <laughs> Should we stop? <laughs> we messed up a little bit. So the first shade that we used all over the lid was called Reindeer Snack. Okay. 
Okay, it's like a nice taupe color. And then we used bobsled for the crease. And then now I'm gonna use metal work for the for middle of my yeah. hair. And then what are you using for the middle of your hair? I'll, I'll mix both the the metal work was the the a, a slide slay slay queen slay queen. Can you see this? So pretty. Oh, okay. Can you see this? Oh my God! Yes. Tart does not play. Sorry, guys, I'm not the frame. But tart does not play. We're using bobsled for uh, uh, lower lashes. Such a pretty color. I mean, it's not brown. It's a brown with a red undertone. Can you see that? I mean, it, it's it looks, very good. It looks different on you than on me. Yeah, because we have different skin. Yeah, it's like on you it looks more purple. -y. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It just it has like a purple like undertone. Undertone. And then on me, it comes off like more chocolatey brownie. Always make sure when you watch tutorial that whoever is like giving you these kind of uh, recommendations, they have the same skin tone like you guys because it differs from one to another. This is why we filmed this together. Not because I need her. Uh, <laughs> <because> <laughs> and we also have like three blushes and then they open like this and then you get like a highlight blush. So we had to close the blind because the sunlight is like we've got three shades Can you see them? So pretty so I'm gonna mix this one with this one. Oh my god, this is exactly what I'm about to do Girl oh. I love that the fact it's just like pinkish with a glitter that I can just leave it up here on my cheeks, mm -hmm. not all over it And then you wanna do the duck face Right? Yeah, that one does nice highlight. Go very light with the highlight you guys and then like build it, especially if it's like a new product. So I got this trick where I can see everyone when they put highlighter on their nose, they just go with the line like that, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't I no. I don't like it. And I, I have a point to prove when it comes to this. So okay. Highlight. Okay, let me put my brush down. <laughs> so highlight is meant to highlight like centered like um, features on your face. You don't want someone to look at your nose straight like that. But instead, if you only highlight just the top here and the tip of your nose, you leave that one in the middle. So it gives the slobby effect of the nose. You know, Ooh. it always works. I swear, and I always get the. Uh, it's like, oh, you got a new job. Oh, no, no, no. I highlight my tip a lot, a lot, and then the back. And contour the middle. That's it. So it's just sloppy. Try it. I'm going to start doing that. Yeah, I'm going to go with Lights, Camera, Lashes. Do you think the big ego is too crazy for me? I'll go for the big ego one because, you know. Because you've got a big ego. Yeah, and I think which is not a bad thing. By the way, it's okay. a really good thing. I think I'll go for both, but I'll use the big ego one for my top lashes, and then I'll go for the light camera lashes for my lower lashes, and which is something I usually recommend that you use like a lighter mascara for your lower lashes so they don't look you know heavy and they have like a lot of uh, true uh, what I say product on them. Very true. So we can try that. And it'll also cast a shadow under your, uh, like under your yes. under eyes, and yes. it'll make you look like you're you're tired when you spent all that time highlighting. And you you just want to like you know clean it, then you have to clean, wipe the concealer and all the base that you have built. So mm -hmm. it's just annoying. Very much. So when I apply mascara, I love to start from the top, very slow. Can you see? I'm just curling. I haven't even. Put anything else, just curling, 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 and then left. That's it. That's how I do it. So on the top, top, 
top, top, top, and then I go from down. Okay. I try as much as I can not to use the front of the mascara because it always has a lot of products. So true. You can also like wipe it off with like tissue. I barely did anything, just like topped off the the yeah. extensions a little bit. I use a smaller one for the lower lashes. I'm feeling myself, you guys. I don't know about you, but like, I'm feeling I'm like, yes, bitch. So we're done with the look. This is how we're I'm obsessed. We have been like spending like to have hours in the mirror looking at stuff right now. It's so cute, right? We're all Close your eyes, show them your eyes. Good yes, good. queen. And by the way, our little trick for all this glow is that we took. So we took the lip ornament lip gloss and we put it all over it, everywhere, everywhere. Like all over, like, over the eyelids, we put it on the highlights over here, on the, on the cheeks, and it's just like, look at the glow. And that was like, put as a little tip, like just no. like, put it everywhere. It's so good. This is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed our little video. Don't forget to subscribe yes, to our channel. Them, tell them. And please, if you need more, like, more inquiries about anything, the products that we use and everything that's not clear, just put it in the comments right there. Like and share and support. Make sure to follow Huda. She is amazing on Instagram. And soon, she's starting a YouTube channel. Okay, after she teach me gonna all of her tricks. I'm going to YouTube channel. I'm going to teach you all my tech knowledge. And your channel is going to be popping.